Hi guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. In the previous tutorial, we tied the 2x4 bow treasure knot. Today, we are tying a larger version, the 2x6 bow treasure knot. By comparing the two knots, you're going to be able to see the tying pattern, which you can use for larger knots as well. You can tighten up the knot with the ears open, or you can tighten up the ears near the core of the knot. To practice the knot, I'm going to need about 6 feet of cord, 3 pins, as well as a surface into which I can stick pins into. I'm going to start my tying on one end of my cord. I'm going to form 3 bytes, so 1, Two, three. I'm going to pass through the three bytes at the top. So over under, over under, over under. At the bottom, I'm going to pass into this loop on the right, so essentially over 6, then back under to the left, so under 6. So, over 6, under 6. Then, I pass alongside this cord into the third byte. Then, to do my first two bytes. Again, following this cord here. At the bottom, I'm going to pass into this second byte, so essentially traveling over 4, then back under, under 4 to the left. At the top, we pass alongside our previous cord into the second byte. Then, alongside our previous cord into the first byte. At the bottom, we pass into our first byte, so essentially over 2, then back under, under 2. Finally, finishing up by passing our working end into the first byte at the top. So this is our knot.
To tighten up our knot properly, we need to identify the parts of our knot. These three parallel strands are part of the cord. These three here are also part of the cord. So these strands need to stay in place as well as lined up. This bite here is an ear. This one here as well. This loop is also an ear. This one here is an ear. And finally, this one here is also an ear. Now, pull the slack into your two ends. as well as into the ears. So slowly pull the slack out, making sure that your strands stay lined up. So these three strands as well as these three. So the cord is fairly tightened up. We have these three parallel strands as well as these three. Now go through your ears removing slack. So we start at one of our ends, going through our knot, and through our ears. So this is one pass of tightening. We have our two sets of parallel strands as well as the ears. Again, I'm going to start at one of my ends and remove more slack out of my knot.
after three passes of tightening are not as complete. When you get used to it, you can tie it without the help of pins. Guys, thank you very much for joining me today and I hope to see you next time as well.